In this video we're going to integrate our sine of x, i.e. the inverse uh, sine function. And the method we're going to use here will also work for inverse cosh, inverse tan, you know, etc. Also for arc sine, arc cos and arc tan for the trig functions. And I'm going to do it with r sine of x here. And the method is much like when you learn to integrate ln x and we do it by parts. So I'm actually going to treat this like it's uh, r sine of x times 1. And this is helpful because if we apply the integration by parts formula, which you remember is something like this, so integral of u v dash is u times v minus the integral of u dash v, and we'll say then, okay, our u is r sine of x, and v dash is 1, obviously I must choose it that way around, if I try to choose u as 1 and v dash as r sine x, I'd immediately have to then try and integrate r sine x, which I can't do, but I can integrate 1, and I just get x, and also we know how to differentiate r sine of x. I've done that in another video, so I'm not going to go through that, um, but you know that we get 1 divided by the square root of x squared plus 1. And this allows us then to compute this integral because um, we've got, applying this formula, then I need u times v, so it's x times r sine of x, and minus the integral of u dash times v, which is x divided by the square root of x squared plus 1 dx. And this one here, you could either use the substitution u equals uh, x squared plus 1, or actually you can just notice that this isn't that hard an integral, it's just a it's a, it's a simple uh, chain rule in reverse integral, and it's actually just the integral of the square root of uh, x squared plus 1, and then we've got our constant of integration. If I were to differentiate the square root of x squared plus 1, that's um, x squared plus 1 to the half, so when I differentiate that I would get a half x squared plus 1 to the minus 1 half, and then by the chain rule I multiply it by 2x, so the 2 and the half cancel out, and I've got exactly what I've got here, x over uh, the square root of x squared plus 1. So that's just justifying uh, the fact that this integral is this. But as I say, you could also substitute u equals x squared plus 1. But that's not the main aim of this video, I really just wanted to show you the technique for integrating the inverse hyperbolic functions here, and as I say, that would also work if I replaced r sine with r cosh or r tan, or, or with the trig functions as well, arc sine, arc cos and arc tan, just apply the same method, write it as the function times 1, do the integration by parts, and you'll find in all those cases you can integrate the uh, resulting integral here without too much trouble. So I will leave those ones for you to do as well.